And that right there is what you call 44 ounces. 44 ounces of, what do we call this? This is iced coffee, but it's 44 ounces of uh, probably, actually it's 44 ounces of liquid, liquid iced coffee, <laughs> but it's probably, it's probably 24 ounces of sugar and 20 ounces of, uh, of coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's do this, let's do it, let's do it. Let me fix the old, let me fix the old ponytail. Yeah, that's about right. All right, here we go, here we go. What's going on everybody? I hope everybody is doing wonderful today. I'm doing pretty darn good, you know, I'm doing always pretty darn good, I must say. I'm always doing good and I'm gonna tell you why, a little secret, let you into my life just for a quick second. The reason that I am doing good almost all of the time is because I wake up in a very positive mindset every day of my life. Every day that I wake up and my eyes open, the first thing that happens is I get a smile on my face because, because I'm here and I woke up, you know? And, and I think about that all the time because I shouldn't be here. And that's just, that's the truth. I shouldn't be here, but I'm here. So now every day I wake up, I got a smile on my face. So when you wake up in the morning, Come on, let's do this. Let's get a smile on our faces and just say today's gonna be a good day because if you do that enough, it works. And that's why I sound like a broken record every single video that I make. I sound like a broken record because I wanna be a broken record and I want you to know that the power of positive thinking is a very real thing. Just like the power of painting is a very real thing. The power of painting.com just happens to be one of the names for my website along with savedbypainting.com. If you'd like to go check it out, feel free. Head over to Patreon if you'd like to go over there and support what I'm doing so I can continue to make these videos. If you want to see these videos, head over to Patreon. It's like a dollar a week. Channel memberships, YouTube channel memberships. I will say that the majority of our content is gonna be on there uh, upcoming very, very soon. It's like 33 cents a day, I figured this out. If 33 cents a day is not too much, head over there, I would love to. The more, the more people I get to support me, I can tell you this right now, I can make a promise to you, the more supporters that I have, the more I'll be able to do this. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. I thought today we would, be, we would just be doing something that you can do. You can definitely do this, it doesn't matter. Listen to me, read my lips and my facial expressions. If you have never painted before, you can do this. You have to have the right mindset though. If you say, I can't do it, then you're not gonna do it. So just might as well click off the video right now and uh, call it a day. But if you believe that you can do it, you can absolutely do it. So I'm gonna go ahead right here and gonna hold my palette up. There we go, just like that, right in front of me. All right, so we have some colors on here. Uh, you know what, that's funny because I forgot to put Prussian blue on my palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. But here's all the colors, okay? So listen, I'm using Bob Ross colors today just because I have so many of them. I bought these like three and a half years ago when I first started, almost four years ago. And I'm just gonna try to use them up. So these are the original Bob Ross paints. They are made by Weber. That's why they're not running off of the palette at this point. Uh, but this is still good paint and I figured, you know, might as well use it. So that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into this video today. We're gonna, we're gonna start painting something that you can definitely paint. Um, if you look over here at the canvas, you will see that here's what I did. So I did use liquid white and I used liquid black. I started in the center. I put some liquid white in the center, boom, little circle like that. And then I hit my edges with liquid black. I cleaned my brush off and I came back in and I just kind of blended all of that stuff together. So that's how you have that handy dandy little design that I have right there. That's how I made it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, this is going to be a very simple painting. Listen, another thing, every painting that I do, every video that I make, I make these paintings. I don't care if they look, you know, fantastic or incredible. They make me feel super great when I'm when I'm making them. I forget about all of my problems, you know, life and bills and this and that. I forget about all that stuff when I'm doing this. You know, not to mention the whole depression thing and you know, anxiety, stuff like that, you know, this takes all that away. So that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm not trying to create something that everybody is going to just go crazy over and say, oh my gosh, that is so great. That's not what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm looking for a feeling and that's what I'd like you to do as well. All right, here we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna start off with some cad yellow, just a tiny bit, which is right about here. All right, I'm gonna get in here and I'm just taking this one inch brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit of this cad yellow right about like that. All right, get it in there, smash it, okay? Get it up there. Now we're gonna start probably close to the center because I wanna work, this is gonna be, there's not gonna be any clouds in the sky, so it's gonna be super easy, so there's no excuses that you can't do this. So we're gonna start right about here. I just wanna sprinkle a little bit of this color something something like that right there just kind of put a little bit nothing nothing too too crazy a little bit more actually just a tiny bit I want it to be a little bit stronger all right something like that you see i'm just kind of tapping it in there i'm not tapping it i'm doing anything but tapping it i'm i'm doing these little x patterns all right you know something like that now I'm not gonna clean my brush at all. Now I'm gonna go over here. We have some Indian yellow right about there. Can you see that? All right, a little bit of Indian yellow. This is a very, very strong color. Get a little bit of that right on the, uh, the same old one inch brush. Now, let's go ahead and do something like this here. Drop some around here, just a little bit around that yellow. See that? And don't have to be perfect little circles. Give it a little variation and life and you know all that stuff. All right, so you see that right there? Looks completely crazy. We have some crazy colors up there. Looks like nothing, right? We're gonna make it into something. Okay, without cleaning the brush, we're gonna go into some yellow ochre. A little bit darker. A little bit darker than that Indian yellow. Okay, pulling it out, tapping, tapping, see? And I'm just gonna drop some of that right on the outside of the Indian yellow color. All right, something just like this. You see that right there? No big deal. All right, now we're going to darken it up a little bit more by taking, actually, you know what? Let me set the palette down just real quickly. And I'm going to wipe, I'm just gonna wipe the brush off a little bit before I do this. I'm gonna go into a Lizarin Crimson, Crimson, Lizarin Crimson. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. So let's go ahead and just grab some crimson. See that? Just a tiny amount. I wiped the brush off. You don't really have to, but I did. Let's get a little of that on there. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to come right like this. And I'm just going to work my way right around. See that? Something like that. And always step back and take a look at what you have going on. Okay. Always do that. All right. Just a little bit just like that. Okay, now, I'm not going to clean the brush off at this point. I'm gonna come over here with my crimson and I'm gonna go into, there's a little bit of this black, all right? This is midnight black, which is a very good color because it has like this cool little purplish thing happening inside, all right? So I'm gonna do that. Same old stuff, look, just grabbing some more, just a little bit more, all right? And if you don't have the uh, midnight black, as long as you put the liquid black down, you're probably fine. All right, something like that. All right, now without cleaning it at all, I'm gonna go over here and just get the tiniest bit of the uh, Prussian blue, okay? A Little bit of that stuff. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that color just here and there, you know, just so it's somewhat, it's in there. We kind of see it, all right? Something like that right there. I'm kind of staying away from the bottom. I'm not too worried about the bottom at all. All right, let me set the palette down. All right, give my old uh, one inch brush a quick, a quick wiping right there. Man, it's a beautiful day today. All right, I'm just wiping that off real quick. Pop that back up there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take a, this is a clean brush. This is a clean two inch brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out now. I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna do small X's. I'm just gonna just kind of blend it out. Now you don't wanna you don't want to blend it all together and just kind of make it go away because it will do that. Soft pressure. I'm not barely gonna bend the actual hairs on the brush. Is that what you call it? The the thingies. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bend them. Alright so look I'm just softly I want to be able to determine you know kind of where the colors change. And that's gonna give the sky a very, very nice look, in my opinion. Okay. 
Got a little hair going on there. Now another thing, I recommend not to go back into the center. All right, because you can drag some of the blue back in and you'll turn it green. Unless you want green in your sky, then I wouldn't do it. All right, so here I go. I'm just kind of working, 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 working them colors out nicely. Do, 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 do. And you see, you can still see where they kind of like, you know, change colors. All right. So technically, I'm just kind of softening it a little bit. Right down to the bottom here. I want the bottom to be bright. I'll show you why in a second. All right, now I'm just, see, I'm, I'm wiping this off with a paper towel. Just, it's just a habit of mine. That's just what I like to do. All right, now where that blue goes into the liquid black, we're gonna just kinda, let's just kinda melt that in. See, we're gonna melt that into the liquid black so it looks like a nice transition. All right. Give it a quick wipe again. See that? Dragging it right down. Now I, I highly recommend, I highly recommend wiping your brush off like this. You know, I don't clean my brushes with thinner or anything like that. I'm just wiping it off because I gotta go right here real quick. I'm gonna give this a quick little blend because I want it to be a little bit more blended. All right, but you be careful doing this because, you know, like I said, you'll drag the dark back into the light and you won't be too happy with it. All right, here we go, wiping the brush off. Let me check, uh, no, that's too dirty. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe the old one inch off. All right, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take, let me pick the palette up. Gotta get into that habit. I'm gonna go into a little bit of white with the corner. See that, just a little bit right there? Something like that, and I'm gonna just kinda put a little bit of that white up here. All right, I'm gonna set that palette back down. Wipe my brush off, and then I'm just gonna softly give it a little something, okay? Give it a little love. A little love, all right? And you can do this, you can blend this until you're happy with it, but like I said, don't over blend it because it will go away, okay? Alrighty then, okay. Now, let me set my paper towels down. All right, here we go. So like I said, there's no clouds in this painting because this is easy because I want you to, I want you to paint this picture. So I don't, I don't want there to be obstacles in, you know, in place. So this is a like basic 101 type painting. All right, let me move that hair out of there. All right, here we go. So we got the palette, we got the knife. Let's make, let's do this. I'm gonna take a little bit of the, uh, what's that, phthalo blue, a little bit of that stuff. Let's take a little Prussian blue as well. What the heck, let's take some black. Uh, what do we got, some brown here? Black, brown, what do we got over here? Looks good. Crimson. Let's see what that gives us. Blend that together, let's steal a little white. See what color that gives us. Get a little bit more of the uh, brown in there. I love this noise. A little bit more brown, oh, that's a lot of brown. So we got blue, black, brown, crimson. Steal a little white. That's a nice color right there. All right. All right, so there we go, look. See, I'm gonna pull that out flat, kind of put it into a pile. I'm gonna steal some of it, put it right there. Steal a little white. Make it a little bit lighter, see that? All right, let's pull some of that out. Now, I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna put a little mountain in the back here. Yeah, just saying hi. Put a little mountain right, just a small guy right back here. 
See? He runs this way. See that? Just a small little mountain. Now I'm going to set this knife down real quickly. And actually I'm going to set the pallet down as well. I got to get a better system for holding for holding holding the pallet, you know. I'm going to wipe off that one inch brush and let's do this. Just wipe off the old one inch brush real quick. And I'm just going to kind of pull this mountain out real quick. Look. Sound effects are uh, extra. Just going to pull this mountain out, see? Wipe it off. And you see that little pink right there? That's important, in my opinion. I think you should try to leave that, some of it, if you can help it. It kind of helps, it looks like mist, you know, it just helps it look like it's way, you know, in the distance, okay? Wiping it off, paper towel. Now we've got some of that liquid white down here, so that, that really does help with the misty effect. Okay? All right, all right. All right, now, before we move on too far, ugh, I'm going to grab the palette. I'm going to set this, uh, you know, our color there. Just kind of get it out of the way. And I'm going to grab some of this color here, just some white. See that? Some white. And I'm going to put a touch of that mountain color in there so it just kind of grays it a little bit, all right? So it's not so bright white. See that? Nice and grayed. Pull it out, get a little bit on there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put just a few little things back here. Not too much. Not a whole lot. Just because I want this to be, just getting a little bit more of that color. I want this to be far away. You know, further away, I should say. Okay. You know, something like that. So we just put a little bit of that color there. Now, with the same grade color. Let's go up here. I'm going to get a little of that phthalo blue color. Okay. Just a tiny bit. You saw that's strong. It's a very strong color. Actually, I'm going to put a little more white in that and gray it a little bit more with a little base color. All right. That looks like a nice little shadow color. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to drop in a few of these guys, little shadows, just so we have something. See? Just something there. I'm just kind of setting the knife down and just, see that? You know, something like that. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy, okay? All right. All right, let's go back to the one inch. Give it a little, give it a little wiping off, all right? And then I'm just gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna kind of get the hair out of there. I'm just going to kind of pull a little bit of this and just kind of soften it very carefully. Lift it. You know, you can tap if you want, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to, I'm just lifting it, just kind of, you know, whatever, you know, teasing it, I guess, would be the proper word. All right. All right, so that'll help make that look like it's in the distance. All right, back to the knife. Here we go. Here we go. Moving this color out of the way. We're going to use this shadow color here in a minute. Let's go up here. This is a nice dark base color that we made earlier. See that? Pick some of that up. Nice and flat. See, flat. Get it right there on the knife. Now, always stand back. I always say that. Stand back. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this uh, mountain up like this. Right about here. Something like this. See? See that? Oh, yeah. And then... Now you see that little bit of white right there? Leave that. Just getting some more of that base color. Because I want to put a little bump right about there, maybe. And he just drops down. See? See that? Little bump right there. And then this guy just kind of runs wherever. Alright, see? Alright, now. I'm going to get a little bit more of that base color. A little more of that base color, and then, let's see, I'm going to bring this down like this. I'm going to put a little bump right there, because he kind of goes like this. He goes right off the canvas. 
See that? Put a little bit right there. Okay, now let's set the palette down. Let's grab our handy dandy little one inch brush right here. And we're gonna go ahead and wipe this brush off, right? And then we're gonna go right in here. We're gonna do the same exact thing that we did on the baby mountain in the background. All right, so look, first, before I go stipping, skipping steps, here I go stuttering, I'm gonna pull this out, see, pull it. He kind of goes right in front, right? Just to leave a little bit of that white showing. See that right there? Pull this down. Yeah, nice. We're just getting rid of some of that excess paint and we can make this mountain come right. Look at that. Nice, right in the front, see that? All right, let's wipe this off. Now we're gonna just kind of do a very careful little blend here at the bottom before we go putting any highlights on it. You can make your, you know, angles at this point. You can see the lines. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. All right, I want this mountain to come right down in the front. Something just about like that, right about there. How about a coffee break? All right. Set that down. Here we go. Move this out the way. Just gonna wipe that knife off a little bit. I'm gonna wipe it on the paper towel. All right, here we go. I'm going to, we're gonna put a couple different layers of color on here. So let me go put this white right about there. I remember I want that grade color. There's some of that right about there. So I just mixed that with our base color. All right, so it's nice and grayed. See that? Let's go in here, pull it nice and flat. That's very important, by the way. Pull it flat. Get a little bit of that color right there. All right, now I'm gonna come right up here and I'm just gonna drop some of this in very, very nicely and easily. <laughs> Did I say easily? Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. All right, just getting more color. And then just come right here and then shoom, just like this. Shoom. Now we're gonna put some brighter colors on this too as well, so don't, don't worry. Just getting some more color. Pop a little bit of this in here, maybe some back here. You know, something like this. See, I'm just dropping it wherever, all right? Just getting more color. All right. All right, now, let me move this out of the way. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get some more white. I'm gonna put it right here. This is a nice bright color. See it right there? Pull it flat. Actually, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the yellows. See that in there? Nice, nice. That's a very nice color right there. Pull it flat. Get some right there on the knife. And then I'm gonna come right up here and I'm just gonna kinda of highlight that. Now I'm gonna to have to kinda of go back and kinda of reload this every other, every time I pull it down because it's gonna pick up some of that dirty color, you know, from underneath. See that? We're adding highlights to this. I'm gonna get some more white over here. Get some more white. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Indian yellow and white. There we go. Shoom. Right down the side. See that? Get some more on the knife. Right here. All right. See that right there? All right, before we go too far, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna take a little bit of this white paint and I'm gonna put it right about there into our blue, our pile of our blue, okay? Maybe a, maybe a touch more of the, uh, the phthalo blue. Something like that right there, pull it flat. Let's get a little bit right here on the knife. Now I want to just drop in some, some shadows here. All right, so put some there and just kind of, however you want to hold your knife is, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. But angles are, are really important. They're going this way here, so you want them to go the opposite. Just getting a little more of that color. So try to think about the angles, you know, when you're, when you're doing uh, your mountains, okay? Because it's important. All right, put a little color there. Just gonna load up just a little bit more of that color. And let's come up here and just, just drop some of this in. This is a very, very uh, pretty shadow color right here. 
So I'm sticking right to the edge. All right, see that? And I keep reloading. I'm going to add just a touch more of the uh, phthalo blue because the dark color from the mountain is kind of is kind of eating the shadow color up. All right. There we go. Now you can hold the knife like this as well. All right. And sometimes this will help you. It'll help you get some texture. You can just get started that way. And then you could just kind of come in here and then pull your shadows down. Okay. See, you can do all kinds of things. See that right there? Just getting a little bit more of that color. Actually, I'm going to put a little white into that just to lighten it, just a hair. Just a little bit. Let's put a little blue right into there. And then something right about there. All right, now I'm going to get some white paint and I'm going to just take a little bit of our shadow. I want to dull it. So I'm going to get some white here and I want to dull this. So just so it's not so vibrant, put a little base color in there. See that? And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go over just a couple of these little shadows here, just in a few spots. All right. You know, something like something like that right there. All right, let's clean this up here. Move that color out of the way this out of the way there we go I probably should just wipe this off on a paper towel or something like that but let's go over here now I'm gonna get some white paint see this here white paint little tiny touch that's too much little touch of the Indian yellow see that pulling it flat let's get some here now I want to put some good highlights on this some last minute highlights right there on the edge see Whew. all right come down see wipe your knife off get some more on there all right just get some right there get some more on there and then we can kind of come in here and just break up that straight line see i keep wiping off my knife though it's important that you do that see oh, so you got a dirty dirtied my knife or my color Get a little bit more of that white. All right. You know, something something like that right about there. Now I'm going to step back. Always, always, I say this, always step back and have a look. Now, move that out of the way. I'm going to get a little bit of this base color right here. See that? A little bit of that base color. I like doing this. I like coming in here and putting in some nice, deep shadows. All right. Put some there, maybe a few here. Just a couple, just like indications. That's that's all it really is. All right, and then we can come back. I'll show you, and we can fix that little area right there. Now, white. I keep saying now. Let's get some lighter color here. I'm just going to break this line up. See? Just kind of mess around and have some fun. All right, and you could just change all kinds of stuff. Or if you want, I'll tell you what else. I'll tell you what else you can do. Get a little bit of this crimson color here. Get some white, because there's some crimson in the sky, right? This is a beautiful color. Let's get a little bit of this crimson up in there. Watch this, because there's a little bit. Maybe, maybe it would show, I don't know. So much stuff you can do, see? Not too much, you don't want to go crazy with it. All right. Going back to the blue, the shadow color. A little crimson in there, it's just fine. A little white. I just want to redefine, I just want to redefine our little shadow right here. I want it to be nice and a little vibrancy on it, see? You could do so many things. So many things. All right, I'm wiping my knife off. And I'm just going to grab real quickly white paint, just a little bit of white paint right on the knife. All right. And I want to, I want to put a little bit of white there. 
This is just straight white paint. No mixture. All right. But yeah, you can mess with your shadows. You could do all kinds of stuff. You can go back to the base color if you want, you know, and you could really, you know, drop in some darks on the mountain. See like this right here. Give it some shape and some form. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys decide how you want to do that. Because I know one thing. I can have fun all day making this stuff for real. Not even joking. But we got to stop at some point, you know? Got to stop at some point. All right, moving along. Wiping the knife off here. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let me, uh, I'm going to clean a little bit of this paint off of my palette real quickly. All right, I'm going to go to the one inch brush real quick and let's soften the bottom of this mountain up here. All right, so I'm going to just kind of, you can either tap, see this? You can tap like this. All right, mist it out, which is a very good way to, to do it, honestly, because it does work very carefully though. Don't do it too crazy. Or you can blend it. So it's, you know, it's really whatever you're, you're comfortable with. I'm just gonna give this one a little tap and a little love. Steal some color from there, bring it over here like this. All right, you see that? <clears throat> now, softly, look, softly, and this is gonna help create like a misty effect. Lift it, lift, lift, lift. See, lift, lift. Lift on the backside. You could change the form of your mountain if you want by just by tapping, see? You can do so many things. I could steal some paint from right here, put it here, steal some from there. I mean, just, it's just, you can do whatever you want, you know, so many things. So, so my thing is, I would say, I would just say experiment around with, with what you're doing. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just going to tap a little bit here just to kind of soften this up a hair back here. Maybe that could be some distant trees or something. I don't know. Give it a little lift. All right. Steal some of that paint there. All right. I'm just going to go back and forth. All right. I'm going to wipe off real quick the brush. I, like I said, get into the habit. Wipe your brush off. Wipe it off. You know, it's definitely, it's a good habit to get in because this way, you know, when you need it next time, you're ready for it. All right. All right. Let me move the knife out of the way. I'm going to get me a, yeah, let's get a fan brush. I'm going to make a very grayed color, a bluish gray color. Okay. So with that, for that, not with that, for that, I'm going to take our base color. I'm going to get a little bit of the, uh, tiny bit of the Stalo blue, tiny bit of the Prussian blue. And I'm going to put that into here and see what that does. More, a little bit more of the phthalo blue. This should just give us a very, a very grayed color. Okay. Looks good. See that? Just a little. So we took our base color, a little bit of phthalo blue, just a tiny bit of Prussian blue on the fan brush. All right. Now I want to make sure I'm going to put me like an indicator line in across the bottom because I want to put some trees in. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to start right about here. Just like this little indicator, just because I want to leave some of the white in. All right. So it looks nice and misty. All right. Something like that. All right. So now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to just, you know, tap in a few little trees and things, little babies. Come over here, do the same thing. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, something like this. Don't worry about the bottom, just the top. 
is all that you should be worried about. I'm going to just straighten my brush out here. I'm going to grab just to, I'm going to steal a little bit of white just to lighten that color up just a hair. Just a hair. Make them a little bit sharper trees. All right. See? Just up and down, up, down, up, down. Make some bigger than others. See that? Now I'm going to tap here at the bottom. I'm just going to kind of smush this together. Something like that. All right, let's go back to the one inch brush real quick. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just tap. I'm going to just tap this out like this. See? Just give it a good little, good little love tap. Because this, this makes the nice misty look. All right, go all the way across. All right, see that right there? Nicely. Lift it a little bit. Lift, lift, lift. Softens it up, which is a very awesome little thing to do. And then you can come back in here and you can tap it again if you want. You know, you could do a lot. All right. All right, all right. Let me hold the palette and the paper towel. I'm going to give it a little wipe off because I want to lift it just a little bit more. I want this to be really soft. See that? And then we come in here at the bottom and just kind of sweep it. Okay. All right, let's go back to the fan brush. I'm going to darken my color. All right, a little bit more Prussian blue in there. Let's get a little bit of the black in there. Prussian blue, black, a little more phthalo blue. We're just darkening our color up. Darken it, darken it. <clears throat> get a lot more blue, more black. There we go. Two blues and, and the black. Let's see what this does. Okay, now, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this in with the fan brush and I'll probably go back with the one inch brush. I just want to come in, I'm going to make my indicator line because I do this all the time. I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to come over here, something like this. I just want to make sure that we leave some of that separator area in the little misty area. All right. Just tapping this color in. See? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Nothing to that, right? Put a little color in like that, and you can see where, you know, it's clearly it's separated, all right? Let's do this. One inch brush. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna just tap on this. And this is what this is gonna do. It's gonna kind of blend it into the liquid black, all right? Not worried about making mist because there's not gonna be another layer, all right? Just wanna walk it right into the, yeah, something like that. And I'm gonna go up here. I want it to look like you know little bushes maybe on the top or something. I don't know. Something like that. Little background things, you know, I don't know. All right. I love doing this. I love doing this. All right, let's take a step back, have a look at it. All right, looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All righty then, give a little sideways, a little pulling. All right, okay. All right, now, now let's go back to the number three fan brush real quick. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get a lot more black, okay? And put it into that, that color that we just used to make this right there. Black and Let's get a little green, a little sap green going in there. Black and sap green. Looking pretty good. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's pop in. I'm going to pop in a few trees. This is a very, very easy painting. This is very easy. All right. There's not many elements. All right. You know what, since I got the darker color, I'm going to put the trees <clears throat> that are a little bit closer, which happen to be, let's straighten the fan brush out. Happen to be right here, a little line. Okay, right about there. I always go back and sharpen the fan brush, sharpen it up. And then we can come in here and then just kind of push, skip a spot, push. See? All right, reload. 
get a little bit more of that color on there. And we come back in here. Push, flip the brush over. See? All right, get some more blue, some more black in there, let's darken that color up. You know, I got some phthalo green here as well. Let's use that. It's a nice dark color. Come in here and choo -choo. all right, right at the bottom. See that? Choo -choo -choo. We're just smashing color in at this point. All right. All right, now we're going to add a few other little things here, a few other trees on this side. Sharpening my brush up, nice dark color. Let's put one right here. All right. Touch, push, touch. See that? It kind of runs right into that one there. All right. Get more phthalo green. I'm pulling this because I want it to be sharpened. Nice and sharp. Okay. And I'm going to put one kind of going this way. Just kind of close the canvas in a little bit right there, maybe. See? Just kind of smash it in. Okay, just smash and dark color and that's all. All right, now let's do this. Let's steal a little bit of the white. A little bit of the white, come over here. All right, we're gonna just get a lighter value. So I'm just kind of mixing it at this point. I just wanna get a lighter color. I'm gonna put some trees that are a little further away. Just a few of those, nice light color. All right, nice and sharp. Actually, let me get some more blues in there, more black. Yeah, it looks good. Making a mess. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to put a couple back here. All right, let's put, do this. All right, see that? Looks nice, huh? Let's pull some more on the fan brush. Let's pop one right, right about there. See, I'm just touching. I'm starting in the center and then working to the left and then to the right. Okay, back to the color. And then let's pop one right here. We'll put one there and then maybe one more. See? One there, and let's just drop in one more. Okay. Do one here. Kind of grows right there. Start in the center. Work your way to the left and to the right. You see that? Nothing to it. It's very, very, very easy to do that, okay? As a matter of fact, let's see, what should I do here? I'm going to, I'm gonna set that down real quick. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab the knife real quick. I'm gonna take this dark color, set it there, I'm trying to get the dark of the dark. I'm gonna get some more blue and black. Blue, black, some of that phthalo green. Let's do this. Get a little crimson. All right, I'm just looking for a dark, whoa, dark color, dark color. I think this is it right, right about there. All right, so if you, you know, you could use blue, black, green, you know, whatever you want, as long as it's dark. All right, let's go over here to the one inch brush. All right, I'm going to pull my brush in here. I'm just going to pull it in. See that? Pull it right there. And then let's go up here. And I want to... I'm going to start right about here. I just want to put back into the paint. I just want to put like a, you know, some kind of a tree here in front of this. You know, something like that, something easy, all right? So I'm just going to keep reloading. All right, 
and that just kind of pops right into right there like this see that all right and I'm just taking the brush and I'm, you see what I'm doing here I'm just sideways pushing but, you know we got dark color there already it doesn't hurt to put a little bit more it's kind of cleaning our brush off right see that All right, so we're getting this dark color in here, just like that, okay? All righty then. Now, 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 I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe my one inch brush off. I'm gonna wipe it off. Give it a good old wiping. All right, wipe it off real good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip my brush carefully into some of our you know the liquid white color that we have here i'm going to set it right on my palette all right and that's where i'm going to go and i'm going to get me our brush is dirty so it's going to give us it should give us a nice green color see that right there see that going right into the yellow all right all right let me actually get a little green on there because I want it to be a little bit more green. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tap, 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 tap away. See, tap it in there. Nice texture. You see that nice texture? All right, so now this is where I'm going to come up here and I'm going to decide how I want this to, to kind of play out. All right, so I'm going to go right about here. And I'm just going to, see, touch. Tap. All right, you see that? And we'll start making our, our little grassy areas. All right, let's get some more of that sap green in there. It's a color I want. Nice sap green. There we go. Tap away. A little more of the, uh, whoa, throwing paint. Let's get a little bit more of that going. See, push, touch and push. Get a nice ridge on there. See? See that? See, now you can touch and... All right. All right, now I'm gonna set the palette down because all I'm gonna be doing is tapping into that same color. I'm just gonna wipe this off just a hair because I had a lot of dirt on there. All right, so let's go. I'm just gonna go right into the same color that we were just using and I'm going to tap my brush in there. It's a little easier if you set your palette down as well. All right, a little easier. Tap into that color and now I'm just going to try to, you know, complete the uh, like the highlights on the on the grass and stuff like that. So figure out where do I want to go? I want to put, you know, nice I want a nice bright color there like this. See this? This kind of runs across. See that? All right, maybe it comes this way. You know, something like this. You know, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can make it look like hills. You could do all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna, now, I'm gonna pull into sap green, into like just straight sap green, all right, with my dirty brush. All right, straight up sap green and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to touch see that push more sap green sap green is such a nice color see that touch and push i'm just creating a little hill that's all that i'm doing all right I'm going back into the yellow at this point yellow and little Indian yellow yellow and Indian yellow and I just want to put a few little highlights on the grass right here I'm gonna wipe my brush off I'm making I'm making a big mess all right wipe that off okay liquid white Indian yellow 
Indian yellow, liquid white. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Liquid white, Indian yellow. See that? Liquid white, Indian yellow. Nice little push. Get some paint on there. And then I just want to make a few little highlights right here, see? All right, so come right in here. Don't be afraid to push on it. Push, get it in there. Nice little ridge of paint, see? Right there, see that? All right. You know, light's coming, coming that way. All right, so now, give it a good little tap, and I'm just kind of mixing all the colors, the greens, the yellows, the whatevers. A little phthalo green in there, it looks nice probably. All right, and I just want to finish this corner here carefully. Soft, you know, some soft little texture, maybe look, a little something there. See that? You could push up with the brush. Leave some of that dark in there though, because that's important. Maybe have a little, little highlight there, see? A little highlight there. I mean, you could just do all kinds of things. You know, you could tap into here if you want. Tap into some Indian yellow, some yellow ochre. All right, a little blue if you want. I mean, you could do anything you want. And then you could come here and put little distant little, little things, see? Little trees back there. Now we have some trees, see that? All right. I mean, it's just, it's endless possibilities what you can do. All right, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull into some yellow ochre and some green, make a nice little color. See this? I'm pulling, pull, 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 pull it, pull it, pull it. This is just a nice little green color. I just want to pop in, you know, a little something right there, maybe a little bush or something here. All right. Now I just got a little bit more of the liquid white here. And I'm going to try to get some of this yellow. Some phthalo green. Sap green. See that? Pull it, pull it, pull it. And now I'm going to just come up here and I'm going to... I'm going to put a few little... I'm pushing, see, upward. A few little highlights on this little tree right here, see? You see, it just kind of turns that into a little bush. And if you want, I mean, you could certainly go right to the other side, you know, with some different color. Just kind of mix it up a little bit, you know. Mix it up. Maybe this a little darker color. You can come over here and you can add a little, little, you know, bush or something here, see? Something like that. All right, I'm going to grab, yeah, grab my knife here. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to kind of like, you know, put a few little things you know, little areas that, you know, are like little branches and things. You know, just a couple of them, nothing, you know, too crazy. But, you know, these are little details that really, I think, are cool to do. See, you pop a little trunk on the tree right there. You know, you could straighten the top of your trees out with the point of the knife if you want. See that? And you could just pull up little things here, there. Come over here, let's do the same thing. Let's lift that guy up, lift this one up, put some in the background. This is like one of my favorite things to do right here. Just make sure some are crooked, you know, make sure they're not all symmetrically straight. Just little things, yeah, see? If you hold the knife sideways, you get some bigger, you know, bigger branches or whatever, bigger sticks. All right. Now let me wipe the knife off. Just gonna wipe my one inch brush off real quickly. Real quickly like this, just kind of tap on it. And then you can come back in carefully and you can, you can tap over top of your scratch marks a little bit if you want. See that? And you could form a whole different layer of you know, of stuff. 
All right, I'm just continuing to wipe this off real quick. Tap it into my paper towel. And then sometimes I like to just soften up some areas to make it look nice and soft. And, and this helps especially when you're taking a picture. Makes it, the painting look nice and soft. You know, but the only thing you gotta be careful of is that you don't, you know, you don't kill all the dark, you know, when you're doing this. Just make sure that you don't do that. Because you want to have that dark in there because it's gonna, it's really gonna help you, you know what I mean? Okay. Wipe the fan brush off a little bit here. I set that back down. All right, I just want to do something real quick. You know, you don't always have to use a brush for every technique, you know, everything, every highlight. Look, I'm going to take some of this Indian yellow here, right? And I'm just going to set it right here. See that right there? And I'm going to take, I don't know, it just some, looks a little white, a little dirty, but that's okay. I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to pull this out like this, a little bit more white. Right there. And I'm going to get some of this on the knife. I want a little bit of a highlight back here. I want you to see it though. So I'm going to use the knife to set this in, see? And I like doing this because it just helps, you know, with, you know, being able to use different tools, you know, and it's not, you're not always depending on a brush. All right. So look, get some more of that color. See that right there? Just some nice little highlights right there like this. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just, you know, showing you that sometimes I do these things. All right, because I don't know, I just like the way it looks sometimes. All right, and you can go back, you know, if you want a little contrast, you can go back with a dark color and you can put, you know, a little dark in there as well, underneath of it or, you know, whatever, you know, something like this. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do. Or if you want to just put some dark color in, you can just take just some dark color, you know, and come over here and like this. It adds a whole nother layer, you know, to your picture. You know, something like this. All right. You know, it just kind of gives it that textured, you know, that textured look. All right, I'm going to wipe my knife off real quick. You know, and then you could always come back with the one inch, you know, tap it on the paper towel, just kind of make sure it's, you know, somewhat cleaned off. And you can work in this dark color by doing these soft little taps. You see that? And it kind of just works it in. See? I'm just here to show you, you know, that it doesn't matter what you do. Anything can, can work. Any, anything, just anything will work. So... So yeah, I think, uh, I, I think I'm just going to call that a wrap, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. I hope you enjoy every video. And remember what I said. Go over to Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon or YouTube channel memberships, it's only going to do one thing. It's going to allow me to be able to focus more of my time creating these particular paintings. So, hey, if you want me to do that, be sure to head over. Links are in the description for both places, depending on you know what you want to do, if anything. But I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in the very, very next video. Peace.